have. That was impressive, though. <laughs> Do you find out someone's true self? Do you find it when you put a hard like at them? 
when you make them angry, when you put them under duress? I don't agree with that. Because what are you doing? You're manipulating the situation. You're forcing them into one set of emotions. So I think that's the true self. The part of Fluttershy that realizes what she's done after she says those words, that's also part of her. That's also her real self. And when she feels ashamed of what she's done, that's the real Fluttershy as well. And that's true for a lot of us. We are not one thing. We are a core, royally, with selfish and altruistic thoughts for joy and love, hate and sorrow. We're all those things. Exactly. And so I'm glad that this episode is adding a different view to her. Yeah, I'm also glad that her friends are making a small comeback. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I'm kidding. I'm gonna cry like Josh Scorcher and find you Dory. <laughs> So, 
I think that was, I mean, Rarity tries her charm and ends up uh, with an impromptu lunch because of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Pinky. Pinky. Let him say at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Half day. But we're supposed to believe this is a happy ending, but I'm coming out of this all mixed. 
because I like what they did to add a new flutter strike. She has learned to cut and she has learned to put her hook down. She has learned to use the Sierra Angel Bunny I approve. And in a weird way, she's also learned to not have everyone scramble for the same pile. That just by giving a little bit all around, people feel the less need to compete. That everyone has exactly what they need, but they don't need to fight over it. There's something that's special. She should be satisfied, right? Exactly. Well, okay. she looks pretty satisfied here. So in a way, I think this works. That's the funny thing. I was, oh, true. Well, it, she learned assertiveness, though. Here's the here's the catch twenty two. Socrates. I don't know. I hope you all know Socrates. He had a student who took him to court over tuition fees. The, the student argued, if I have been taught persuasion as he promised, then I will convince you I shouldn't have to pay. And if I can't really convince you of that, then obviously he didn't teach me that well. So I shouldn't have to pay. <laughs> and so I can just be like, oh snap, he got me in a box. <laughs> see, that's, see, that's part of the catch-22 I find with trying to force those, uh, those arguments. You can, you can actually be totally satisfied. She has learned confidence, albeit indirectly from Iron Will. Technically, he should be paid for that, even though, there wasn't his, even though his methods are flawed. So that's the weird text way too. It's going back and forth, telling me this, but I see this. It's saying everyone's this way, but I see this way. It didn't let me evolve with the story and try to tell me what to think, and that's where it falls short. Is this a bad episode? It's frustrating. It's hard to see, and it shows an element of Fluttershy that I may not really enjoy. Exactly. Sometimes execution can spoil a good, a good uh, story. So, but it does, it did get the fandom to see a different side of Fluttershy, and I'm always grateful for that. Exactly, because Flutter Brother, a uh, uh, key common Flutter on, for getting between Twilight and Rainbow in testing, testing, one, two, three, all of that stems from what she learned here. She's learned to set it for herself. Short term. So, thanks for the memories. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. And reasons. But the, we're, we're running short on time, so I just got to be aware here. Um, basically, what we have, what we have is uh, short-term loss. Hey, this is just like uh, Jared Koppler. You suffer maybe a short-term loss, but look at the long-term benefits we've had from this episode. Better episodes. Better development for the characters. So I can't call this a fail, but I will say it's a speed bump. It's a dip in the room. Now, I have rambled on... Uh, quite a while, so we don't have a lot of time for Q and A. Uh, rather than have everyone line up, would you uh, just see some hands? I'll write up five minutes, and then happy to answer questions outside. So, uh, right there in the hat. Hi. Hi. Who 
Well, I've not seen it. I'll try to give it a look, but at the same time, people are making fun of my brain. Yes, sir. Coming up after BronyCon. I think you don't see me editing right now, right? Sorry. Oh, I'll get to work. I say I didn't entertain y'all for an hour. Watch all this stuff, sir. I think you guys.